Hello everyone, welcome back to the Alex, De Alex DB Racing channel, I'll get it right eventually, where you join me and a little furry friend today. Um, yes, we are back in Assetto Corsa part 10 already, can you believe it? I can't, um, but I'm really looking forward to this one. It's a very long championship, eight races, but we're in Formula R Baths, looks similar to Formula 4 or something like that. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get straight into it. No messing about, no nothing. Now, I haven't driven these cars yet, so it's going to be a little bit of a surprise and a little bit of a test, but we're going back to our roots, you know. Um, we have absolutely no idea and no expectation of what we're going to get here. So um, without further ado, jumping straight into the race, um, we are getting the revs up, watching the lights. Four minutes, lights out, and away we go foot is flat to the floor as we head down to turn one here we've got a good getaway uh, don't know where the braking zones are there's guys on the inside just being a bit cautious don't go too wide and ruin the race already Ooh. right so we've only dropped one position it's not ideal but I really don't know Going away, I'm breaking. That's a very wide for the car in front. Oh, almost lost the back end. This is intense. <laughs> right, here we go. Where's the braking? Where? Oh, I think I might have, been, might have been a touch too early there. We could take it quicker. More, let's probably go down another one as we get here. There we go. Right, out of the last corner to complete the first lap in our Formula R Bath series. Not too shabby. These cars are a lot of fun. Um, obviously, these are not uh, road going Ferraris, they're not even track ready Lotuses. These are out and out race cars from the ground up. Um, so yeah, when it comes to lightness and agility, these cars have got it for sure. Um, we've gone a bit wide, not really proving how light or agile we are. <laughs> Alright, down the back straight again, this is going to be a little bit close because he is Trying to sneak up the inside there, we only close him off. Um, but we've got the faster line if we're on the outside and we can keep it on the track and we haven't we gone straight off into the gravel. Uh, live and learn. Right, we only lost one place. It's not the end of the world. Come on. Back on it, keep going. Uh, it's only lap two of six, should I say. Okay, so I mean, we started off, we had a shot at maybe like a top five. We're seventh now, which isn't the worst, but it's not the best place to be in. And hey, look, they're all bunched up at the front there, so you never know. Coming into this race, we might get a little bit lucky and steal a couple of, couple of positions back. I really can't speak today, can I? Pile it into the apex. A little bit more brakes this time. That was not the ideal racing line for them. And um, we're back on the charge as we head down the straight now. I'm not sure we can catch up a lot. <laughs> right, a corpse in an F1 car here. Racing lines are a little bit choice. But it's keeping us in contention. We're almost four seconds quicker on that lap. Let's see if we can really pin our lap together this time because we really need it if we're going to catch up and make some more overtakes. Isn't it? Uh, so we 
lot of curve there that we didn't want to take. Back straight we go, here we go again. There's the pumps in. <laughs> there we go, and there's the braking zone down two gears, point it into the corner, back on the throttle already. Clipping both apex in really nice, probably not carrying optimum speed through there, down to second, for the last right, left, right, left, I don't even know, I can barely, this car's all over the place. Right, anyway, that was a coherent sentence, wasn't it? Yep, get the back end out already. But it is helping as we are gaining quite a lot of time on the cars ahead. We've taken a slightly better line, even though it's a little bit compromised by the slide. It's pulled defensive, I think he knows we're faster and he's let us through. Is he going to come for another slipstream? Is he going to get cut back? Who knows, but he's still right on the other side as we head down. No, we've got beached on the... Oh, that's it. That is very much our position secure for this race, if not losing one more. Oh, I can't even touch the throttle without it going all over the place. Right, eighth place. <laughs> you want to give me... A penalty for that disaster. Oh, we've got a couple of cars still coming around very slowly at the back. Um, last lap. I'm on miles out of this now. Um, but, like I said, it is our very first time in these cars. Um, what did you expect, really? <laughs> we almost had a good fight and almost got back into... Um, like some decent point scoring position but it was not to be was it there we go well at least we're not last Still get points for eight. There we go. There's the checkered flag. Cross the line. Eighth place. say about that. It's a little bit underwhelming for our first race but we'll be back on it in race two. So um, yeah, let's go again. <laughs> race two, I'm just trying to get through these as quick as possible because there is a lot of them. Um, all the talking can be done in the cutscenes while we're waiting and while we're racing. Um, but yeah, <sighs> that's a bit disappointing that. But we're going to go at it again, we're going to do it again. Oh, I'm not too sure about this track, but we're starting up in fifth, so... There's the lights. Not too bad on the reactions. So I'm probably enough to the inside here, but we are going to make the move. I think this should be flat through here. It is indeed. It wasn't flat in the other cars, but... Those were completely different cars. <laughs> See, I tried to get brave there and go for a lunge for second place in it. Um, but it was not to be. But we have got a nice slipstream, so we're going to make the most of it. And we are on the outside, which is not ideal. This is corner sort of goes away from us on the ground. So it's now charged down to what I remember is quite a tight little hairpin. Trying for 
bonus of that on the inside, but it's not going to happen just yet. Second would be nice. A podium is good. A win would be amazing. Again, I'm just following the traffic at the moment. Good pace. Probably go just a touch quicker for him. Look, he's already on the power. He's a little bit wide, but he's ahead. That's probably the better line to take for him. The bottom line is shift down now, and he'll get back on the throttle again. Let the aerodynamics do the work. So now it's like, right, we'll just try and keep with the leaders here uh, as we defend our final, uh, the final podium position. But we can also think about attacking for the next one up, second place. The first is obviously very much on the pace, um, and he's got it under control. Very different line to what we had last lap. Power a lot sooner there. Didn't know if it was going to be there, but it was. So here we go. Down the start, finish straight, starting lap three of six now. Obviously, still not the fastest lap. What is he doing? 134 mile, 136 foot. Temps up this lap, which is uh, looking pretty good. I feel second place getting closer. Just let the car roll through the corner, back on the power. As soon as you see the exit, this was a little bit trickier. I'll try and go for a shallower line, see if I can get a better run out of the corner. Well, this experimentation is working because we are not only keeping up, but we are catching second place. Oh, we've gone a bit too deep into there. Kind of breaks my form, really. I'll do that. This is where he's quicker through here. Getting on the power as late as humanly possible. Um, we picked up a really nice slipstream as we go across the line, start that four. Here we go, we're making a move down the inside. Lovely flying bit of track this season. We can cover off the inside very nicely. Um, we know that the inside line is not the optimum one to be on there. It's all about the fast outside line. We'll, uh, ignore track limits there. The game did. Why should why shouldn't we? <laughs> right. Here we go. I've got no one to follow now, so it's a bit like right out in the open. That was far too early. But I have got second, I'm keeping second. I need to really get closer to first, otherwise I'm not going to have the best gauge of where I should be braking, what lines I should be taking, because I'm literally just copying 
copying these guys at the moment. Whilst I learn the car and I learn the tracks, because we don't get no practice. Like, <laughs> I appreciate all the other practice, like time attacks that we've got in the other series now. Um, because, yeah, I really want it in these cars. I want it in the fast ones, not the slower ones. Just a few laps to sort of get used to the track myself, yeah? Anyway, out of the last corner now, they're obviously a lot slower than these. Last lap, but that's because we haven't had any more to follow. However, I feel I've run out of the final turns better as we are up a couple of hundredths as we scrub that time for running a little bit wide. Oh, look at that, we're on the power all the way through the corner before we even left the apex, the first apex. It. Look at that gap we've pulled now on second. I'm trying to break later here. Maintaining a 5.9 second lead. It's going to be slower for a bit that time. Stay away from the curves, keep it on the grey stuff, mate. You can do it. Last lap, we have a nice clear advantage over second place, which is good, which means all we've got to do is keep it clean, really. Mistake, see it through to the end. First is obviously a little bit too far ahead for us to catch now. much better that, that's put me in good stead now so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that <sighs> well it makes up for the eighth place in the last race right I didn't even check if we've got points for that last race but there we go on to race number three now already we're moving through these quick okay Magello finally track I know we're on 20 two points out of 40 right i think the point scoring system is a little bit different in this um because we're on 22 points we're only two races in we've got an eighth and a second 40 points quite confident and um, what i might have to do just because it's such a long championship is just score enough to get through to the next one like we did in the ferrari one um because i really don't want these videos clicking too much further over an hour 
it's lights out and away we go in Mugello and that's all that matters for now fly up through the gears we're starting in fifth position let's see if we can get down the inside of some of these cars here does he know we're coming I think he knows we're coming but we've got a good slipstream and it's late on the brakes Whoa! contact has been made Oh, there's someone else out as well. Did we take him out? Was that us? I don't know. But, um, yeah, we need to get back on it. Pronto, it's only the start of the race. So much different to the far down here. Never seem to get the gear in right in that chicane of that. Even in the last championship with the Ferraris. It was like, ooh, break the attraction. And it always catches me out. Alright, let's see if we can keep this flat. Yeah, of course we can, that's easy. Light work for this car. So everyone else is getting a massive toe down the straight. Um, and we're sort of a little bit left behind, but you know, oh that guy's out. So we're technically last. <coughs> Coming down the start finish straight now. There's the braking zone, I think that's it there. just to be on the safe side. Okay, yeah, carrying that much speed for felt appropriate. Um, have we gained much time on the cars ahead? I don't know. Is everyone else just keeping it flat? Is that like common knowledge for this car? I don't know. But whilst everyone else is scrapping, we can catch up. We'll be taking tenths, half a second out of each other at a time. There we go. And the last corner. Nicely done. Um, I don't know how much closer we are. I didn't take note of the time last lap. I think we're a little bit closer. 150 and 152. So we're still working. We've still got to find two seconds from somewhere.
perfect through there. place. Ah, oh, dear. Right, we didn't quite make a second quicker, but we're 152 dead. Yet again, we're still, you know, almost two seconds off, off the fastest lap. So we've got to find that from somewhere.
Well, let's see what the gap is when we go over the line. Back end of the car. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Come on, come on. Oh no! A crash at the top of the hill whilst we was pushing too hard has now cost us the entire race. Once again, just pushing just that little bit too hard, it's completely ruined it. Oh, what a shame. That is a shame. How many points we got now? 24 points and we're halfway through. Um, not the end of the world. We could do with another decent-ish result um, to get us to the top of the table, but we'll see. Not to the top of the table, of course, but oh, Nürburgring, yes. This is going to be P1 by corner one. We go lights out the way we go down the start from the straight. Uh, maybe not the start we hoped for, but I'm definitely going to be picking up the slipstream looking for a move down into turn one, that's for sure. Moves there, it's been made. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> oh, just narrowly avoiding the contact with the cars ahead. Whilst trying to defend from the cars behind. <laughs> That's close stuff, this. Do we need to break through here? I don't know. I really don't know. Yes, is the answer. up. Far too much curve. Just about got away with it there, but I don't think we're going to get away with it again. That was far too much breaking there. Yeah, the leaders obviously starting to break away because we're not up to speed. They are. So we're just all over the place at the moment. Right, let's focus. What chicane is it? Two. Objects in the mirror aren't closer than they appear. I'm aware. I'm aware that half the grid is still behind me and we are making ourselves look like amateurs. Oh, that was aggressive. 
that's the way he wants to get past people. Yes! Let's push for more. Pretty much flat. 
let's gain this couple of temps. Fastest lap, two minutes point four nine two. Look at that, just banging in fastest lap after fastest lap. Now we can do it <coughs> as we make the move on third, and that puts us up into the podium positions. Really starting to get on it now. Chasing off the second place. Again, gaining more time. Oh yes, now the grip's there. We do not want to throw away another race. Right, it's the last lap. We're in third. Let's just keep it that way, shall we? Another two minutes to go. Oh man, just beating our fastest lap. Same mistake we did last lap. Half a second up as we come out the final corner to come across the line. This is going to be awesome. Broke the two minute barrier as well. 159. Third position. What a race. Oh, gosh. <sighs> 
59958. Oh boy. Mm -mm. See, even the cat can't believe it. Just can't believe it, can she? <sighs> wow, what a comeback, what a race. That was awesome. Come on, that's got to be like 39 points, 40 needed. Next race, we're done. That's it. Imola as well. Imola, Silverstone, Monza, Spa. And that's it. I feel like we've got to see these last few races through, really. <laughs> I know the video is going to be a bit long, but if it's going this good, then let's keep pushing. <laughs> Especially with the last few tracks. Imola, Silverstone, Spa, Monza. It's going to be a bit nuts. Let's keep going. Again, six laps is obviously quite a lot. I feel like by the time we get to the end of this championship, we're going to be like four length races. Beautiful away from the line there. That's it. That's how you do it. Take there's a gap. There's a move, there's a white. <laughs> How I say that, I don't know. But P3. Oh no, too white. Far too white. Yeah, spinning. Lots of spinning. Lots of spinning, lots of pain. Last, almost last, not quite last. Um, very nearly last. Yikes. Things can turn around quick here. Starting that through, but just about starting to catch up. 
the rest of the pack now. I feel like we may have moved up a couple of positions by the end of this lap, all going well.
as if that's a 15 second penalty. Silverstone, I think it was. I think, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> I think we can maybe afford one more. What's one more, eh? Yes, what's one more? I've it up, come on, we can do this. 41 points, okay, so we've made it into the next one. And we're gonna make the last race Silverstone. Judging by our track record, all we've got to do is, um, yeah, it's win it or bin it, isn't it? <laughs> um, and given it's been win, bin, win, bin, I think this should be a win. Once again, full focus mode. That's five lights. All its lights out the way we go. So we get started here at the British Grand Prix. Yep, that's it. That's the start we wanted. Village. start from the straight. Hmm. These cars can take that quite quickly. Alright, now get some back This is normally where we mess up, so let's try not to. Um, but 
we're still keeping pace as we come onto the back straight. We've got we've really got quite a gap. I know fourth is right behind us, but there's quite a gap in there behind here. Come on, don't lose it, don't lose it. We will find our way, we will find our way. Right, lap one complete. Head down, let's get on with it. Nice and fast through, turn one, turn two. Breaking down to about second, maybe third gear through the vintage section. Come out, now flat out, moving up the gears, fourth gear, fifth gear, just by the time we enter the straight. Picking up a slip string from the car ahead. Looking out for our brake marker, I think it's about there. Slightly later turn in the car again, I think that sort of helps us a little bit. Second gear through Brooklyn, short shifting up to third, and that's probably helping us really because second keeps keeps running wide there, giving us a much better run. We could have the move done by Cox, but going up the inside of Cox, thankfully he's already yielded the position before we get there, but we are neck and neck as we go through Cox. We've got the better run out of the corner, so here we go, Maggots and Beckett's, so let's not ruin it. Yeah, not too bad. Down the hangar straight we go. Um, I feel the car behind has got a better run on us. So I'm just going to try and let me think that he can come up the inside and close it off. Oh, we definitely don't want third down. Let's change up one down. I'm watching out for those curves on the inside because they are lethal. Right, there we go. Second position secured. And three laps to go, three laps down. Half a second lap bigger than us at the moment. I'm sure there's a bit of clean air ahead of us, we can change that quite quickly. Gaps 3.7 as we start this lap. Let's see what it is when we get to the end of the next lap. Now down to 2.3. We're 
much better run through turn one and turn two. We're already two tenths up, and that is the fastest lap of the race so far. We are leading our home Grand Prix, the British Grand Prix. That is a good feeling, and what a race for it to come at. Wow. <laughs> leading, winning, I said win it or bin it, it was going to happen. <sighs> Traumatic fashion, eh? races away today already but this is a track we know and love very much if it was going to happen anywhere it was going to happen anywhere. coming out past the wing at Silverstone to start the final lap absolutely dominated this race, we've now got a five second lead over second place alone. A little bit deep into village, but that's no problem. Oh, a little bit of correction over still as we exit village. Down. Just stay focused. And we are 
old start finish straight we go. Just hold it together. Half a lap to go. It's all there. It's all for the taking. Right, we get some Beckett's now. We'll test, carry as much speed as you can. straight for the last time. It feels like it goes on forever this straight when you're in the lead waiting for the race to end or if you've got someone behind you. I feel like a lifetime. What has felt like a lifetime in today's episode is a really good race and a good finish. Um, yes we have claimed podiums before but this is all the more special after the turmoil of the last couple of races not scoring enough points we come out of the final corner for the final time and we are going to take victory at the british grand prix that's it that's how you do it in fantastic style 205.1 fastest lap of the race winners in the uk and the above championship at least we won the race <laughs> <laughs> that was the good luck charm <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> oh wow what a race what a display <laughs> here they all come Whew. well I mean we secured our 40 points anyway um that's the championship complete as far as I'm concerned. Um, we should be able to move on to the next one now, um, which is going to be back in the Ferraris. But this time it's the 599XX, which is a track only car. So that's got some serious power, some serious speed. Um, it seems like we've unlocked everything actually. Um, so yeah, loads to come, loads more still to come. Fourth position in the championship I can't believe that we came ninth like three times <laughs> well um, as usual it's goodbye from me um, for this week goodbye from little penny <laughs> anyway that was a good luck job hope you enjoyed it thanks for sticking around for that last one see you all in the next one drive safe take it easy goodbye <laughs>